One. What's up, everybody? It's the Hardy Construction. You can find us at Hardy Construction on Tumblr.com, YouTube.com slash Hardy Construction, as well as Facebook.com slash The Hardy Construction, Instagram, Hardy Construction. Sophia, happy birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Come on, Happy birthday, dear Thea. Happy birthday, fuck Danny, to you. Today's uh, hanging out with uh, it's your host Comp, as well as R- Raspberry, as well as Wah! from HorrorHorror.com. Today's film is uh, Raw 2016. Raw 2016. Raw, also Raw. known as Grave in France. Grave. Wow. Does grave sure. mean raw in French? What's wrong with those French people? Anyway, <laughs> I think it means something else. Directed by Julia Duchon. Julia Duchon. Julia Duchon. Is that how you say her name? I don't know. Duchon. 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 Written by uh, Duchon. Who did the dialogue as well? As, why does it say written by? He's Julia really Duchon. trying to get that pronunciation. <laughs> It says know, it says uh, written Can by Julia Duchonu and uh, by dialogue, and then it says Julia Duchonu a screenplay. Just fu- she wrote. The- Shut up. She fucking did the whole thing. When a young vegetarian undergoes carnivorous hazing ritual at vet school, an unbidden taste for meat begins to grow in her. Uh oh. Grow. You can find it on Netflix. Stars Garon Smachier, Ella Rumpf, Rabal Knight of <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Look at this guy. He is so racist against the French. What? Thea, why'd you pick Raw 2016? I didn't. I did. Did you? <laughs> yeah, I did. Because it's even though it's Thea's time of the month, she threw me one or two because it's, it's also, also my birthday. It's also Danny's time of the month. It is my Wait, time when, of the month. I'm I saw the... Why am I thinking? I thought she picked these two. Ah, who gives no, a I shit? Anyway. Game no, I and picked Raw, and she chose. And Love I picked Witch Coherence. Coherence. Okay, Danny. Yeah. So why'd you pick Raw? Because uh, I heard it was very disturbing and had a lot of hype, and I wanted to see if it lived up to it. Did it? Did it really? <laughs> did it really live up to hype? Uh, nah, not quite. But it was. That's what good. I felt. Uh, so Raw, uh, Thea, what's this film about? This movie is about a girl who's just going to college to be a vet, and then they're like, eat this kidney, and she's like, I don't want to because I'm a vegetarian, and then she does anyway, and then she wants to eat everything. They should blame very, those kids. It's not her fault. It's the kid's fault. <coughs> very simple premise. I don't know why they would make people eat meat at a vet- veterinarian school. I would think schools tend to be so... Uh, <laughs> Hipsterish that they wouldn't make anybody eat because they're afraid of. Well, did you um, see that school? Yeah, the hazing at this school was like really intense. I would was not car- want to go to this school. It seems horrible. No, I would. I seriously would not. If you threw my mattress out a window, I'd be like, "All right, I'm done." Yo, Bye. I'm like a person who like I like to be in my room and I like everybody to leave yeah. me Jerk alone. Off. Exactly. I. I I can't this imagine it must be Europe because in the U.S. there would be millions of lawsuits going on that first night. Yeah, um, it's a veterinarian school. I guess they also have dead people there because remember there was a corpse that somewhere later on in the film that they were screwing around with. Um, so Justine has uh, has a veg- vegetarian family. It starts out very strange. Uh, the, act- the film actually starts out with a car getting scared off the road and hitting a tree, uh, and we see this sort of obscure figure running off and off on and off the uh roadway and it goes to the main name of the film then it goes back to justine and her family her father looks very morose her father looks like a like he just looks pissed off for some reason i think it was Laure- laurent lucas i'd be pissed That's too if piece. i had to deal with all this shit are you kidding uh, <laughs> yeah but i mean we don't know that at the beginning of the film i'm just looking at him going what the fuck's wrong with this guy he's so pissed right. off it looks like he's almost like disappointed in his kids for some reason which i guess we do find out later on that he is in a sense. <laughs> and uh, she gets to the school where uh, she meets her roommate, who is a gay gentleman, played by Rabbi Knight Aufela, Adrian. playing Adrian. Uh, very handsome guy, shaved haircut, guy I wish I looked like, but I don't. And he's uh, living his life. It's not that funny, Thea. And he's living his life, and uh, he's just uh, getting blowjobs and 
fucking dudes. Good for him. Good for He's him. having fun. And we're following Justine. What? How, how would you sort of uh, explain Justine's character in the film? She is a timid person who has never experienced life and is completely sheltered. And this is her first experience of like doing anything outside of like being a little girl in her parents' house. So yeah, Justine is very doe-eyed, very thin, very frail looking, and they put her She's surprised by everything. They put her through this uh, insane. So uh, you know what I understand? Her parents met at the school, and they knew what would happen. So they still allowed them to go through this. Like, wouldn't you say, "Hey, right. there's another veterinary school," but I guess the director didn't think about that plot-wise. Um, well, I mean, how she, many veterinarian schools can there be? I mean, it's not really, like, a common school major to be a veterinarian, sure. I would think, to, like, if this is, like, the best veterinarian school in France or Belgium or wherever that? the hell they are. I think Wait, Belgium or France. I was a little confused. I don't know. Because it says <laughs> it's French, sick. Belgium, and I know shit. they speak French there, I think, so it's, like, I don't know. I may, I feel stupid that I don't know this, but, yeah. So it's a huge campus, lots of kids fucking around. Um... I, I had heard the hype about this film and people were saying it is directed by a woman obviously and uh, because her name's on it and uh, a lot of people are going crazy about how it's one of the best of the year and it was so crazy like disgusting and disturbing I've seen uh, two other sort of or two other cannibalism films I've seen actually a, lot, a pretty handful of cannibalism films and I'm sort of uh, disgusted by cannibal films although I enjoy them if they're cartoonish <coughs> right uh, I saw, uh, and what I saw here wasn't as grotesque, so I was sort of let, let down by the, the violence in the film. Yeah. Because it's, it's not one of those sort of hardcore violent It's more films. psychological, this movie. Yeah. I don't even know if it's that. Like, I, no, it I is. think stuff. Well, I think it's trying for that. Right. I think it feels like some sort of, like, uh, wafy, and I'm not saying it's a bad movie. I'm just saying it feels like it's sort of trying to be, it's, it's a typical Euro sort of wafy filmmaking. Do you know like what I mean? I was very, honestly, I was honestly very the upset. grossest part for me, the grossest part for me was when she put a hamburger patty in her pocket. That was no good. <laughs> no, I that gotta was say pretty the, gross. The part, the most disturbing part to me was when she was eating uh, her her sister's finger. Not the pat, not the fact that she was eating the finger, the fact that oh, she yeah, was like that sucking the meat off the bone. Like she was biting the meat yeah. off the bone. Like that part, I was like, oh my god. It was oh the way god. she was eating. Right, it was that. Very, yeah. Like, morsely, like. Cause I, she was eating it like I she was, was sucking meat out of an oyster or something. Like, because I was, <laughs> yeah. Before yeah, that cool. scene happened, I was cooking a steak and I was watching the film, <laughs> and then, but it was up to the point where she, like, I thought she was probably gonna cut her labia off, and I was like, okay, I had to pause oh. the movie and eat my steak because you're led to believe she might like cut the labia off like, this girl, and I was like, I yeah, don't want to see that yeah, before I yeah, eat this steak. Like, also, but it wasn't was that a she just cut her thing finger off for like in Europe for like uh, sis siblings to like to uh, wax each other's like basically touch each other's genitals and, and stuff. like bathe together and shit and like I just have know. their asses out like very... peeing and stuff it was, seems a little weird to me I don't know yeah. who am I to judge I'm from like, a crazy place too I feel like maybe like Europe it's a little more lax they're definitely that more open minded like... about that kind of stuff I'm I guess sure. so yeah. but I mean this seemed a little too much but then again this is a really weird family in the movie so uh, and her sister, uh, played yeah. by Ella Ronf, who's playing uh, Alexia. Uh, ha, yum, 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 yum. Uh, but I also objectifier of cannibals. I'm not her. objectifying. I'm, I, I, I was looking at. As soon as I saw her, I was like, she is hot. As soon as I saw her, she looks like uh, the girl from The Craft. I can't think of her name, but um, no, she's not Faruza. Like, Faruza Balk looks scary I was like, compared this to this girl. Is Alex's type. And yeah, this hot. is the thing, a disgusting pig of a man would say she had a great ass, but I'm not that man. I would agree <laughs> with him, but I'm not that man. You know what I would so, say? Uh, I would say she had an ass that if I was a cannibal, it would look delicious. Disgu you're, you are worse than Louis C.K. So, Thea, <laughs> with, oh, these, no. uh, with, with the relationship between Justine and Alexia, how would you describe that? I would characterize it as tense but close it's very strange sometimes they're like best buds and the next minute it's like i hate you please leave immediately i don't understand you like I, they don't they butt heads a lot that's normal though i think but but they all yeah but like extreme do you have a sister know. or no i have a brother 
And like when we were like living together, maybe we butt heads a little bit, but like not nearly to that. Did you extent. ever? And I guess it's different with like I, it's different with like sisters. N- no, not to my not to my knowledge. Not I mean, thought I it would know. no. You'd have tooth marks, like scars and stuff. <laughs> I mean, I thought... It's true, you'd think. I thought it was a little convenient when her sister was, like, serial killing people by jumping in the street, which is probably the worst way of killing people, I think. Like, it's the most bizarre. Yeah. Because, God forbid, if I was driving a car and somebody leaped in front of it, I'd probably just keep driving and be like, "Uh uh-oh, you know, by by mistake or something. I'd probably be texting and not even notice. (laughs) Danny, driving with Danny is the most frightening... I'm joking. Don't do that. Yeah, right. Don't do that. Danny (laughs) is the most frightening person to be in a car with because... He'll oh, look at his phone and talk to it and drive with his knees. And I'm telling him, like, and I'm telling him, like, I'm in the front. Okay, okay, uh, he's like, listen, he's listen, upset. Listen. Shut up. Hold on. I'm telling this because I'm, I'm sitting in the front and I'm like, Danny, stop talking on the phone. And he's like upset with me. He's Yo, looking he down at his phone. Or something. This is at night. It all comes out. This is at night. We're looking into the pitch darkness and he's driving, <laughs> looking at his phone. Wait, and like, I'm like, and I'm like, take off the goddamn. Yeah, it was that. Okay, <laughs> I was like, get off your fucking phone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I can't like, ex- tell my experience. Get the fuck out of here. I've anyway, lived, so listen, I've lived this long. Imagine I die right after this in a car accident. When, that would be awful. Awesome. When uh, God forbid, when Alexia actually first does that thing where she starts eating the brains of that guy. Do you think what What do you think was the point of that? Like, I mean, do you think that was just a convenient way to write? That? I mean, we understand at the very end of the film why that is, but when you first saw that, were you like, "What the fuck's going on?" Like, um, I mean. I just figured, okay, so they both have this. Like, what a weird coincidence, maybe. Yeah, I wasn't sure. For a little bit, I wasn't sure whether they were trying to get at, like, people, like, there were a bunch of people in the program that were. Uh Uh-huh. That were eating people on a regular basis or eating whatever flesh on a regular basis. Mm. I mean, it wasn't. At, clear at the end it justifies why her sister does that's a little bit right uh, it's a little bit too strange for me for this film um yeah i guess maybe their mother was a fucking werewolf or something like that what was that i think i would have been i think i would have been more interested to be like oh there's like a weird cult thing in the school that yeah it's like their initiation thing to bring you into the fold i had seen this uh. horrible uh <laughs> i seen this horrible horrible movie uh by neville dean and taylor the guys that did crank they did something what, uh, what the hell is it it was about uh, look up neville dean and Taylor. somebody can if they can it's about like um med students that work um like post-mortem areas i forgot it's called like paris something it was like a it's a technical term for like cutting up dead bodies and okay. it had a deal about a uh, a doctor and they kill people they kill one person and they let the other students find out how the other person died uh-huh. So it's like a weird sort of horror film that way. It was so try hard. It's not they had like an old prostitute sex scene. It was like shit like that where they're trying to shock you. Like what crank it worked. The guy Cutters. Uh, uh, what Neville? How are, yeah. What are you saying? Neville Dean Neville. and Taylor. They directed Crank. So the, Dean. Neville Dean. Yes, Neville Dean and Taylor. They directed Crank. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna look it up. T- you keep talking. It stars. It stars <laughs> Milo Venti. It stars Milo Ventimiglia from Heroes. So that should be helping whoever that's. Anyway, you that's what I thought. Nothing. This Neville Dean is one word. I just had to put that He's out there because I did not get that. I thought that this. <laughs> I thought this film was gonna be sort of in that vein where it was like some hidden society or something strange going on with these people, but it never went that way. It was just the sister, and, and it never feels like there's a bigger scope to the film itself. Right. And uh, I mean, it does. It's f- called pathology. Pathology, right? So pathology was that horrible, right. horrible film. Uh, nobody should watch. Yeah. The best thing about when I saw pathology <laughs> in the theater is that the movie fucked up. And while I was watching it, they played the they played the trailer for Ghost Rider Two. I mean, oh, Ghost God. Rider One. That's one of the worst. Movies no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. They played. And I'm not talking about part two. I'm talking about part one. They played the audio of the trailer for Ghost Rider One, and yeah. I'm wa- and the movie's playing. So you hear the audio of Ghost Rider, but the movie's going. And I was like, "Wow, this is a weird artsy fucking movie." Like, <laughs> the the voice isn't like fit, doesn't match. It was anyway, whatever. So, oh my I thought it would be that type of film with Raw, but it wasn't. Obviously, I figured out she was sort of a, a cannibal, and her sister was a cannibal as well. I thought it was convenient that her sister was. And then I realized at the very end that it was passed on by their mother. Right. Um. Yeah. As for the violence in this cannibal film, I think they're trying to gross you out. Uh, obviously. Any film that has sort of realistic cannibalistic violence in it, 
to me it's really disgusting and we don't tend to see a lot of those type of films but right. the fr- I, I've seen it mostly in French films I had spoken about that in a uh, couple episodes ago remember when They're I was really saying into, like, um, extreme violence there like that one movie about the self cannibalizing I, I sent you the trailer for that Thea and you were like fuck right. this yeah uh, that I was like, ah, that's not for me. <laughs> I'm sure we're going to review it one day then with you. Uh, uh, but right. then there was a movie that I saw called Trouble Every Day, which mm-hmm. is a cannibal, a French cannibal Ooh, film. Right. And the the violence of that, because you know how in this one she bites a guy's lip while they're <laughs> making out? Yeah. In the Trouble Every Day, there's a sequence, and it's, I was like, holy shit. This woman is like, I guess she, she starts um, biting this man. But she bites on his lip and pulls it away from his face, uh, and it's like, uh, and it's a seat. I, hate that. I know, and it's a camera, and the shot stays on it. So obviously it was a prosthetic, but you just see the lip pull off of his face. Oh, uh, and you that is that, a hundred. Hear something gross? A real story. I know somebody who. Oh cat, no no. Oh. I know somebody who a cat's claw got stuck inside his lip, and, uh, they, and the cat kept trying to like run that. away with his lip and oh, they had to like pull the cat. No. Get the cat's claw out. You know, it's uh, I have some body horror too. You know, I, and this is no joke. I was I had a I made a sandwich, oh a big Italian bread sandwich. You know, with the seeds on it. No. Oh no. <laughs> and then I, I don't like this. and then I crunched the sandwich together, and a seed went into the white of my eye and oh, dug itself. What? It dug itself into the white no. of my eye, and I thought it was just like on my eye. And then I looked in the mirror. Yeah, it was like very. It was very, very slightly dug into the white of my eye. Oh no! And I was like blinking like crazy and and splashing it with water. Oh my god, it was horrible. That was was so bad. See, that freaked me out. But it was. I mean, it was like it was literally the the worst ten minutes of that. Uh, So you know, that's not fun. But raw has my dad. He was standing in the subway. So now, anytime trains come, I like blink my eyes. Because he was standing in the subway, no. and a train went by, and it shot up a piece of metal, which went into his eye. And they had to, like, they had to, like <laughs> oh, flip no. his eyelid up and, like, oh, do this whole that's thing so in the terrible. hospital. I hate Eyes it. are I hate fucking it scary. It, no, like, to this day, I, like, whenever a train goes, I kind of, like, avert my eyes a little, because I'm, like, nervous, you know? Yeah, Raw has nothing like that. Raw is not as grotesque. <laughs> no. Besides the finger scene... Raw is not. The finger was a little like okay. That was no, but gross. you know it was psychological. It's about this girl losing her mind, and also <clears throat> like that's the sad scene where she kills the the roommate and she thinks it's the her, French guy. And then it's like no, it was her so sister. Upsetting. Yeah, her sister did it. Um, but that was like that, so was, that was a that was a good prosthetic. I guess they used an actor with one leg to do that scene, the eaten off leg. Um, I, I like I like this character, the French guy. But I, I, you always hear about that. You tend to hear about that. Well, if you listen to like love lines and shit like that, like gay guys sleeping with women just for whatever reason. Really? Um, either either guys that are you know lying to themselves or guys who just like are free with that bisexual guys and stuff like that. I right. had a guy. I had a, a manager at my job who was um, bisexual. and He was just hitting on everybody. So I was like, oh, I guess he's game for everyone. So I guess. Uh, he was yeah. a he was a character like that in this film, but he wasn't like a bastard or anything like that. He was just sort of no. He was like was, the only person in the movie you actually like. He was, like yeah, really Adrian. Nice yeah, he's guy. the most likable. Adrian's everybody. a nice guy, and like, of course, look what happens. I, like, I knew that was gonna happen. Like the part when she was biting him during sex, I was like, she's gonna rip his throat out. And then when she didn't do it, I was like, oh, okay, maybe they'll you know subvert the genre because that always happens. And, He's not. Yeah. He wasn't like the nicest guy in the world, but he he was somebody that you were sort of didn't no, want him to like, die in the he film. Like, he like looked after her more than like her sister did. Right. right. He knew so that when, she was fucked up and tried to take care of her. Yeah. And obviously it was uh, space writing because she feels his face in the morning. She can't tell the fucking guy's dead. You would be cold. You'd be cold <laughs> as ice if you're dead in a bed. You know what I mean? Unless cold he just died, but I doubt yeah. it. Um, yeah. And uh, but I, I liked it. The little twist at the end when you see the father and he opens his shirt and he's full of bite marks and stuff. Like, it, yeah. What was that shitty werewolf movie that we saw, Danny? With the guy, oh with the god, girls? with the ship in Norway or something. Yeah, like right now, like back then we were like, oh, it's okay. But then like now thinking, it was like a pretty bad movie. I no, think was, I really uh, didn't like that movie actually. Late, it wasn't. A lot, it wasn't late phases. It was some other fucking. No, stupid late phases movie. was good. No, I wouldn't go that far. I but uh, yeah, I hey, good for you. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I think this is a film that it, it, it it's not trying too hard to be artsy, but I think it just sort of by default turns into some weird artsy horror film. When animals dream, it's a dangerous. When animals movie. dreams, right? At yeah. times, I think at times this one just felt like it didn't have a clear direction. Right. 
like it was just kind of like yeah she's at school and this weird shit's happening and then like like this the, the, the cheating film, thing though? that the cheating thing that amounts to nothing because like she throws him under the bus but he doesn't really get in trouble I didn't either. even know what the fuck had happened know. with that stuff like if this was a <laughs> yeah like there was just a bunch of random shit thrown that in that professor like the, was awesome though the only straight up genre sort of cannibal films that I only know of are like Ravenous and, which is also direct right. I believe it's also directed by a woman and uh, I can think of maybe what was that Eli Roth movie the um, Green Green something or The Green Inferno for which for me was a, like a real letdown because I was cannibal expecting Holocaust. you know I'm yeah. t- but I'm talking about mainstream that that is not fucking mainstream genre that oh, is okay, like okay. that was like uh, rated of, well, that was like mainstream. rated X like I it's, yeah. I think it's yeah. still sort of taboo uh cannibal films um although you see monsters eating people every 5 seconds but it's like super still like regarded as taboo this to movie, have that on normal uh, film they overhyped I think people overhyped the actual gore so that way you go right. in and you're underwhelmed, but like really it was more about the well, psychology to me. I the thing I remember seeing um, was that it was promoted like some people are passing out in theaters. Yeah, and right. Barf bags I, and yeah, stuff I heard like shit that. like that but too. I, I was like, come on. I know somebody who went to see it who passed out, but he passed out for an unrelated reason. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not related to the movie. Serious yeah, drug so issues. He was like, I. He was like, I. <laughs> He was sick, I think, and I think like people reported on it, like he had passed. Like out people said that they filled time. out barf bags and stuff in the movie, but like they also had barf bags <laughs> for Itchy the Killer, and I could understand barf bags for Itchy the yeah. Killer. I can't um, understand this... barf bags for anything. <laughs> like you could show me an actual murder, Mar- and I wouldn't I mean, barf. Yeah. I would be like, well, listen, oh, I'm right. I'm the guy yeah, that almost yeah. passed out during two horror films, so like I, like I can I mean, understand I people like, getting I sick. I feel like Gerald's game. If I had fully watched, yeah, oh, that was, yeah, that was that. very that painful. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I forced not. myself to watch that. Like, I did not look away, and it was brutal, yeah. man. Like, that's still to this that day one brutal. of the most brutal things I've ever seen. But I feel like that might be one of the wor- like the craziest. Anybody who wants to see the seen. most violent thing ever filmed, watch Gerald's Game. <laughs> oh my but god! But also watch that whole movie because so yeah, it's good. a good movie. Like, but then also watch oh Antichrist because that's the second most hor- horrific yeah, thing probably. I've ever seen on film. But if you really want to see a grotesque, because this is sort of a weird art house gro- um, grotesque film, but really go see Trouble Every Day because that's real fucking art house. I mean, there's a there's literally a two minute scene of Vincent Gallo jerking off. It's like yeah. they, they show you know who Vincent Gallo is right, the guy from um, yeah yeah. Uh, I'm, and I'm not kidding. Buffalo '66 is one of my favorite films of all time because it also has Christina Ricci at her hottest, but. Uh, it has a scene of him with his back to the camera jerking off doing the whole motion and then they shoot a giant spray of ejaculate which I hope it was a fucking prop in the movie but everybody <laughs> laughed in the theater uh, go watch Trouble Every Day it's cannibalism and Vincent Gallo jerking off um, anyway with this film I, I thought it was okay I didn't think it was anything spectacular I thought the the ending was interesting but a little cop out I thought they actually could have gone more genre than actually just staying sort of art house yeah, it shot. It, I think it either. I think it either needed to go more genre. Yeah, or it needed to go like full on comedy. Like yeah, I, I could see they nah. could have. I don't know. I didn't love the tone. I I get that it's like I feel like it was very like it felt like another like other French movie like horror movie. Right. Movies. Yeah. Right. right. Tone-wise, they could have gone darker, but, like, I but not. I don't know comedy. because I mean, like we've seen, we've like. <laughs> well, I just mean like pick a thing. Like it didn't. It was t- like taking it too seriously. Almost. Danny right. and I have seen some pretty amazing French horror, new wave horror films like <laughs> Shaitan and and. Um, that one is fucking amazing. That's like Danny's like one of Danny's. Shaitan. Shaitan really? and no, I love picking. that movie. It's so good. Danny likes some weird I movies. Oh no. Danny loves no, Shaitan. It's so good. It's so good. Fucking dude, play. I don't. All I remember from that movie. He's just being like, "What the fuck is?" No, you don't like the girl. It. Rewatch it. It's good. You didn't like the girl giving a dog a hand job in the scene. That was great. I mean, it's, um, a, it's, I didn't a, like the it's weird, a disturbing, but amazing. Like, there was a lot that was weird. I can name off the bat two movies that Danny loves: are Shaitan and Go- Gozu. That's like his two favorite movies. I can tell you what kind of movies Danny likes. But the other French horror film, like Martyrs and stuff like that, that was a pure yeah. genre French horror film. I don't think we ever did. That was. I don't think we ever did. Oh, um, no, how tension? Comparable. That's like. Shock but that's what violence. I'm saying. Like, but that's what I'm violence. saying. But it's supposed to be shocking. But that's what they pitched it at. Well, that was stupid of them. But like, 
I mean, Danny, it if you, is, it, it's certainly if you're not a person who knows horror very well like we do, we're like kind of abnormal people. But if you're just yeah. a Danny, if you, person and you watch we're, we're this, desensitized you'd be like, oh my God. completely. <laughs> if you don't think they intend it to be shocking with this film, Danny, I don't know who you're talking about because no, like, she eats a fucking shocking, finger. But and stuff like, like that. they pitched it as people who like. But that horror also would be might shocked. have been right. That also might have been like the marketing thing more than like her put it this way if my thing. if like i or like my mom or something watched <laughs> this we'd be like oh this is good but like if somebody who doesn't watch horror watched it they'd be like right. oh my god like <laughs> you know like for a yeah they would probably yeah. think it's a masterpiece and shit like that you know what i mean but yeah. i think since we're so used to like, we're just like ab- spoiled, abhorrent we're violence spoiled. in the films yeah uh, a little bit. do you guys have any sort of assessments on this film that you felt like uh, uh, well, obviously, Thea said what she needed to say, but do you have any other assessments about the movie? I got an assessment about the sister. <laughs> you got that right. Oh, oh bro, that's no. some... Oh, no. Oh, no. Some of that long ping, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. Uh, Why are you doing a British accent for a French movie? I love to give some of that... I love to give some of that... I can't do a French accent. All right, so... No, you can't. Thea, what rating would you give this film? <laughs> um, I'm going to give it... Uh, I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of uh, dogs trying to lick you while your sister gives you a Brazilian. That poor dog got killed. Could you imagine? Because uh, they yeah, thought that, that dog was... I know. A, I know. Didn't care. And she was such an asshole about it, too. My God. And her sister was like, ha, that's hilarious. What an asshole. Uh, I would <laughs> give this a 6 out of 10... Uh, glorious uh, buttocks, which uh, actually impresses me. That lets me know how women can actually pee standing up. Danny, what rating would you give this film? You guys are giving a shitty ratings. I'm gonna give this. I, didn't I love think it, it was I like didn't an love eight. It. I'm oh wow, eight. wow, wow! You're right. Wow. You're the one. You're you're right. I you know, know him I'm in. Right. Uh, he he's so. <laughs> you know Thea, we're wrong, right? Okay, very uh, good, Danny. I'm giving it. You're right. I'm right. gonna give it a ten. Uh, it's lovely. And, I'm giving it an eight out of ten. Um, hey, Danny, wh- why don't you give it a twenty? Give it, a, give it a fifty. Come on, let's do <laughs> it. Gonna, okay, wait. Show I us give wrong. It a twenty out of what would be proportionate to eight out of ten. Hold on. Fifteen hundred. Fractions right now. Fractions. All right, let's don't. just. Anyway, show. oh yeah, I'll give it a no. twenty out of twenty-five. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, showing a dead dog ominously, ominously, but then nothing comes of it. When was that? I forgot that. They scene. showed a, de- a dog that was like being dissected, and they like put the oh, that's autopsy right. or whatever. They put yeah. the why, what? On it, like, well, that was like half the movie is showing shit why, that had. Why was there a corpse of a person in it. there too? Was that uh, just a? Sh- I don't know. Remember I when, mean, they, I when they were recording the cat in human anatomy class? Like so, who knows? <laughs> you a cat in human anatomy? Oh, so then they'll have humans just to show the difference between a human and a dog for like I the mean, really stupid students. I mean, when I was in high school. I dissected a cat in a human anatomy class because obviously they're not going to let high school students do it. I think Maybe they wanted I, them to know what a human Danny, I think you accidentally walked into a homeless guy's house. Or, I mean, his like his his uh, <laughs> shed or something. His yeah, like, he was just like, oh, I'm going to teach you something. <laughs> Remember? And Danny was like, okay. I love what? Apple carts or little UFOs. All right. With that, Thea, what's the final word? Mo. Danny. What's the final word? Crystal clear water. The horror deconstruction.